This is part two of Operation Self-Sustainability, and I'm here at Innovative Services, which is a, an innovative towel company that was founded by my sister, Deborah Cornelli, who passed away in uh, 2006 uh, from a heart attack. And uh, we continue um, running her business and keeping her legacy alive. And so what I did is I brought some of these vases that I created and actually they were broken. So, um, you know, I looked at these vases that were broken and didn't want to throw them away. And I thought to myself, what can I do to repair them? So I actually used wood glue, which is extremely durable. And I, uh, it took a, a bit of a time because you have to wait, you know, it's almost like you're, you're you know, putting together a puzzle and then you're having to wait for some of the pieces to dry, to dry before you continue. But in any event, um, after I finished gluing the first huge vase, which isn't here unfortunately, I basically thought to myself, this doesn't look good and I, what can I do to make it look better? And so I came up with the idea to use alternative materials and cover the vases and then basically put a finish on them that was water-based. So over here you can see this is uh, ancient Japanese, this katakana. And, um, and so basically this is just paper that, um, actually it was, it was uh, the letters that I thought were just so beautiful and artistic. And so I basically just cut them and I glued them onto this vase using wood glue. And so over here, I have this rhinoceros. And he also was broken. And so what I did with him is I glued him with uh, paper as well. And they have these little images of keys all over it. And so the story behind this piece is um, my father, who is elderly and has Alzheimer's, uh, told me one day that his doctor said that he couldn't drive anymore. And so he, um, I said, OK, well, Dad, give me your keys. And so. He gave me the keys, not realizing that I wasn't going to give them back. As soon as he realized I wasn't going to give them back, he got enraged and he charged at me. I was very upset and I thought, wow, this is awful. <laughs> what can I do to heal? And so I've used art as a, a mechanism to heal in the past, and I actually used it to help heal the passing of my sister. And so I created the sculpture, and I titled it Grandpa, because it's basically the rhinoceros has head with the car keys on it. And so um, this was a process that I used, and while I was doing it, I would, you know, basically let him know that I forgived him. And then when I finished it, you know, I felt much better. And so then over here, this uh, vase is actually um, made out of leftover fabric. I went to a fabric store, and I asked uh, the sales rep if they had any small quantities that they were going to throw away. And in fact, she said that they did. They didn't know what to do with them. And I said, well, let me use them because I can basically um, glue them onto uh, vases and, and do something interesting. And so for this one, I actually spray painted the vase a beige color, as you can see. And then the fabric on top of it is really quite beautiful. It's see-through. It's very linear. And, um, and it left this gorgeous print. And so you can use all kinds of interesting things to make these vases. And in fact, over here, this was an artistic piece that I did. And uh, it basically is a clay pot that looks like a milk urn. And so if you look at the finish, it looks like it's been, you know, uh, it's silvery. And it's, um, if you look inside, I spray painted it black. And so I titled this, uh, actually this was in, um, in honor of some of my friends, and it was hopefully an inspiration for them to stop smoking. And instead of saying, got milk, I titled this, got cigs, because the silver foil that you see is actually the inside of the cigarette. So when you throw your cigarettes away, you shouldn't. You can find alternative ways to use it. And in fact, you can actually take the silver foil out, and then you can glue it on. So that's what this is. It's the inside of a cigarette box. So then over here, you can see there's another vase. And for this vase, I just basically, I loved this print. And so I photocopied it and I glued it on. And so there's that. And then over here, you can see that this is red. 
And basically, I, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it has little prints of, of roses in there. And then what I did is, I actually, um, after I painted it, after I glued the, the pieces of paper on, I used um, some gold paint, gold, it wasn't gold leaf, but it was just gold paint, and I just took a, a piece of cotton, actually it was, it was uh, old makeup sponges that were going to get thrown away, and I used them to blotch on the gold that you see here. And then over here, I have this huge candelabra. And what I did with the candelabra is I, we actually um, create our own line of tiles here at Innovative Surfaces from leftover custom jobs. And so instead of throwing them away, I've, I've asked everyone to hold on to them. And so this is actually a tile that we made from leftover pieces. It's very interesting. And I made a photocopy of it because I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And then I glued it to this vase that again was broken and looked awful once I glued it together and then I gave it a second life. And so over here, well I'm going to pan around the room so you can see innovative surfaces and a lot of the tiles that you see here are actually a good portion of them are our own lines made from leftover pieces and so I'm just going to pan around the room briefly and while I'm at it I'm going to show you something else before I show you the last two pieces that I have. I wanted to show you this sink. This is a sink that we make. It's very minimalistic. And then underneath it is where you would have the drainage. And so this is a beautiful piece that we actually manufacture in a warehouse on Bird Road. So now I'm going to go back over here. And this is the last of the two that I wanted to show you. Now what we have here is I made this sculpture, and I made this sculpture when um, our little Silky passed away. Her name was Princess Peanut. And so um, this is her bow on top. And what these pieces are on here, and this is actually a replica of her. She was this size and shape. And so what I did is I took these little tiny um, heart-shaped dog tags. Apparently. Um, the Humane Society and the Pound have to make these dog tags whether people pick them up or not and so they usually have them, tons of them left over and so I used them to create this sculpture and I titled this Lost My Master because in fact I don't know if any of you have silkies. Silkies think they own the home and you work for them and they're adorable and and so um, essentially when she passed I uh, we were very upset and so I used this to as, again, as a, as a mechanism for healing, I used this sculpture to, that I created to help me heal her passing. And so basically the title means she didn't lose her master, I lost my master. And then over here what you see is an image of, it's actually a photograph, a very old photograph of my mother on the right, Yvonne Peoples, and her sister, Linda People Edwards. And so my, um, I, I found this photograph in my sister's belongings and it was severely damaged. And unfortunately I didn't have the money to have it um, conserved and repaired. And so what I did is I basically took um, a Q-tip and I had watered down um, apple cider vinegar. And I used it to blotch off and to try to repair some of the damage. And, um, you know, because if there was mold or anything, I wanted to make sure that it was, it was removed so it wouldn't continue growing. And then what I did is I, it was still, it didn't look right. And so what I did is I took, I'm going to make a close up. You can see this image on the back. This is actually what I took. And I basically cut this out around the image of my Aunt Linda and my mother. And I, it's paper doilies, and I basically glued this on. And then I glued these flowers that I found on the ground to this. And I basically salvaged this photograph and just gave it another life. And so these are some of the interesting things that you can do. And they're, they're affordable. And so, you know, when, before you throw something out, do some research and see if there's anything you can do to give it a second life. And think creatively and outside of the box. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention before I end this is that um, this is to raise awareness about the environment and not throwing things away. And 
creating artistic pieces that you can use to sell and create a livelihood. So that's it for the, today and uh, stay tuned for more videos.